Before this starts, I have to tell you, you need a dope addition to do this. Sorry for not mentioning that, but now I did, so everyone's happy. Also, I'm not the clearest teacher in the world, so if there's something that is unclear in the video, then just paste it in the comments below. Alternatively, pause and rewind the part of the video you thought wasn't clear. Thank you. So, you wanted to know how to increase the audio quality of old audio files, like the one I did with, you know, the Windows 95 jingle. I've made a file in low quality, in low bit depth, and low sample rate, on purpose, for this video, to show you how to do the key thing I did with the Windows 95 audio file. I also did with the Sonny Boy Williamson video that I have on this channel. And I'm going to show you what the trick is. This is the key. This is the main ingredient. I'm not going to show you everything else, because I did a lot more than just this main thing. But this is the main thing, alright? This is a file that I generated. This is a, a an audio jingle or a music jingle that I made in LMS in like a few minutes. And then I converted it to a low quality bit rate and sample rate on purpose. I don't remember which sample rate or bit rate the, the, the Windows 95 version is, but uh, it's about the same as, here, as, as this one. And what it also does when you cut down the sample rate and bit rate of audio files, it also cuts down to even lower than the sample rate actually is. For the sound itself, inside the sound, 4.2 kilohertz, it's not a lot at all. So I made an empty audio file with just noise. I just made an audio file with silence and I converted that into the same bit depth and sample rate as the jangle, which I called it. It's called jingle, I know that. It's just, I call it jangle for fun. Anyways, here's the noise. What I want you to do, now I'm gonna sound like a teacher. What I want you to do is just select everything. And then you copy it, file, new audio file, Stereo, if it's the original is in stereo, I'll, I'll I, you know, I, I recommend you do it in stereo. Uh, let's call that jangle high quality noise, right? Jangle HQN. And let's paste it. So this is at 48,000 hertz, meaning 48 kilohertz. See the difference? See all of these frequencies? That aren't used we're gonna edit the audio in such a way that we generate frequencies to paste into this area isn't that cool let me show you how to do that so what you want to do first is remove this all this noise from this uh from this old quality bad quality audio file so you do the same with this new audio file and another one with high quality let's call this jangle high q without the end because this isn't just noise this is the jangle itself right paste it there we go right again all of these frequencies that aren't used take the noise effects noise reduction and noise reduction you see it's very important that these two are in the exact same sample rate and bit depth noise print undefined please capture a noise print to continue right there we're done and let's play it you hear some artifacts, you do, but it, it's nothing out of the ordinary. It's nothing serious. If you output noise only, just to make sure that you're actually out, you're actually removing noise. That's a tip, by the way. That's what is removed. That's what we're left with. All right, then we save that to Jangle Noise Reduction. Okay. Then go to Jangle HQ again, the one we pasted, the new one we pasted from the low Q to the to the higher bit rate sample rate, bit depth uh, wave file, right? Sounds just as bad, doesn't matter. Let's do this, noise reduction, and then open. Don't think about that one. I, I actually made this video before, but it was kind of a, kind of a fiasco. Um, but we, we choose the one that we just made, right? So it's, got, it's, not, it's gonna, you know, remove some, uh, some parts of the music too, to some small degree. There's nothing you can do about that. It's, that's just gonna happen. You can hear the bass in there, right? It doesn't remove too much, uh, fortunately. So it pretty much sounds like the same sound file, just without the noise. Now here's the trick. Here's the main ingredient. Here's the key thing to do. You could do this with the noise too, but then you will just end up with a bunch of noise and you don't want that, all right? About here, all right? So here's the limit. When it becomes purple, like it is here, it's a little bit too low for you to hear it. Everything from, you know, red and up to yellow, is 
hearable so you want to choose like okay up to 4.4 kilohertz okay now we know that what do you want to do then select everything right time and pitch this is the main key ingredient here so follow closely stretch and pitch you can use isotope radius addition whatever sounds the best to you i'm going to use addition i'm going to choose 120 hertz now keep in mind it's gonna sound weird. This effect is actually made to pitch up sounds without changing the speed or stretch sounds without changing the pitch. It doesn't quite add up to every single frequency that's in the sound. 120 kilohertz, as long as it doesn't sound weird from 4.4 kilohertz and up, it's fine. So it's gonna sound like this. That's fine. Let's apply that, okay? Because from 4.4 kilohertz and up, it's not gonna sound too weird anyways. You don't hear much from that anyways, but it adds to the sound. Let's copy that, okay? And then what you wanna do is undo, and then you control, shift, and V to mix paste. Now, how many percent you want of the copied audio, it really depends on the sound. It really depends on the music. It depends on a lot of things. There might be an offset from the one I have here to the one I'm pasting, but that just means I will have to paste it in a little later in the sound. Or you cannot be stupid like me and use the multi-track function in Adobe Edition instead. How's that for an idea? After my experience, I think 80 should be enough. 100%, you can do 100% if you want. It's just doesn't, it's gonna, gonna sound a little too crispy, you know? Let's see how this sounds. Nice. Okay, let's see how it sounded like before. So there is a little offset between the two sounds here. Like the, the, the one I pasted is uh, attacking a little bit before the original sound, but that's it doesn't sound too bad, so I'm not going to bother. So that made it sound just a lot better, right? Of course, like the, 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 the spectral viewing of this is a little weird. Like there's some gaps here, but you know, doesn't matter. As long as it sounds good. See here, where it's about here, it, it, it ends about here, right? Still a little low by today's standards, only like 8.2 kilohertz. What we want to do is double that. I'm going to double it. So I'm going to do the stretch and pitch thing again. Let's remember that. 8.2, okay. Stretch and pitch again. So we're at 8.2. That was here, right? And then you want to do this. No, no, no. That's the wrong way. This way. There we go. Okay. You barely hear anything from that, but it's gonna be worth it, trust me. Remember, Control shift v mix paste. Let's put that to 60, even lower, because that's more natural, actually 40. Let's go, let's listen to it. Sounds good, right? Remember the original? Original sounds like this. And now again, with the new one. Now, when it comes to the end synth and everything like that, that I did with the Windows 95 one, for those who have seen that one, I added that in the end from, I made it in LMS and actually added that after. So it's a lot of extra things here. I'm not gonna show you. I'm just gonna show you the main thing. Now, here's a little bonus thing for you. Here's the original one I made in full quality. The only problem with increasing quality like this is that it's not going to be identical to the original, but it's gonna sound better. It ended up a little too crispy compared to the original. So it's not gonna be 100% like the original original, but it's gonna sound better using this method. I hope you liked this video. If you did, press like, please. And also click the notification bell, maybe, if you want to. That's everything. God bless everyone. See you later.